if you have uh, read the, the seven uh, Harry Potter uh, books, you will uh, know that there are eight uh, movies uh, of, based on the books, which uh, Daniel Radcliffe, uh, who plays uh, Harry Potter, uh, Emma Watson, uh, Hermione Granger, Rupert Grint, Ron we Ronald Weasley, and then there's the other castmates. There have been uh, scenes where uh, some of the actors and actresses uh, could not uh, pull off the scene because uh, they were not able to do it uh, because that they find it uh, a bit uh, difficult to do it. So this is when they use uh, stunt stunt people to do the work for them, and uh, for several uh, Harry Potter uh, scenes. Uh, David Holmes, uh, who is a former stuntman, uh, who, who did some of the roles uh, until the Harry Potter uh, Deathly Hollows, uh, which there was an explosion scene that left him paralyzed and he could not do any of the work, and they had to find a new person, stunt uh, person, stuntman to do the rest of the work, and Deathly Hollows uh, Part Two. So, in tribute, uh, Daniel Radcliffe uh, is an uh, executive uh, producing a doc HBO documentary about uh, former stuntman David Holmes. And uh, the photo looked like this, which they did in beating behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So, Daniel Radcliffe, uh, Taylor Roy left and David Holmes in a uh, motorized uh, wheelchair on the right. So Sky and that uh, an HBO documentary films are behind uh, the, this uh, documentary. David Holmes, the boy who lived coming age of a uh, prodigious uh, teenage gymnast uh, who performed the uh, next bond with the uh, Harry Potter star Rad Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, so, this all let, went down, and until the explosion scene, uh, that was a planned stunt that sent uh, David Holmes uh, flying to the ground, uh, which left him uh, paralyzed uh, all the way from uh, his uh, chest down uh, with a debilitating spinal injury that would change his life forever. So, that's David Holmes right here. So the synopsis uh, reads: uh, The film is a coming a coming of age a story of a stuntman uh, David Holmes, a uh, prodigious uh, teenage gym, gym from Essex, uh, England, who is uh, selected to play uh, Daniel Radcliffe's uh, stunt uh, double in the first uh, Harry Potter film uh, when Daniel is just eleven. Over the next ten years, the two form an extra couple bond, uh, but on the renewed uh, uh, film, a tragic accident on set leaves that uh, David uh, paralyzed with a debilitating spinal injury turning his world upside down. As Daniel and his closest uh, stunt colleagues uh, rally to support uh, David and his family in a moment of uh, need, it is that David the extraordinary spirit, the resilience that uh, becomes the, the greatest uh, source of uh, strength and inspiration. So the documentary uh, features uh, personal footage uh, shots over the last decade uh, Behind the scenes material from uh, David Holmes' stunt work, scenes of his current uh, life, uh, and uh, interviews uh, with uh, David Holmes, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, uh, friends, uh, family, and former crew. Uh. So, Daniel Radcliffe uh, first uh, ad advertised uh, this uh, HBO uh, Max uh, documentary in tribute to uh, David Holmes and uh, Tom Felton who did the uh, role of uh, Draco Malfoy Harry's uh, rival also advertised it too uh, adding that David Holmes also did some stunts 
and hit the parts that he could not do. And the, and the documentary is out, and Matthew Lewis, uh, who did uh, Never Long Bottom, uh, he also uh, gave some uh, a great uh, shout out to uh, David Holmes uh, for his uh, hard work. HBO uh, adds, uh, the film also reflects the universal themes of living with adversity, growing up, forging an identity with the uncertain world and bond that bind us together and lift us up. Daniel Radcliffe is executive producing with uh, David Holmes, uh, Daniel, uh, director Dan Hartley, uh, Sue Latner, Sarah Spahovic, uh, Dave Anthony Abraham, Lisa Heller, Tina Nigarin, and uh, Poppy Nixon. Back in the 2020, uh, Daniel Radcliffe uh, had some uh, other uh, words, words uh, in, uh, for David Holmes and uh, stuntmen. I think there's a myth around stuntmen that they're just a superhuman in some way. When the public sees something really painful or horrible, they think it was just a visual effect or there's something clever, safe way of doing it. Often that is not the case. Uh, there's no way of faking, for example, falling down the stairs. Uh, when you get hit by a car, there's uh, still getting hit by a car, even if it's going slower than it would. They find a safe way of doing it, but it can still hurt. Because uh, back in the day, uh, that is used as stuntmen, but nowadays uh, they can use the uh, graphics such as uh, C CGI is commonly used. Uh, So for a scene like this, where Harry Potter is uh, playing Quidditch and he uh, accidentally bumps into the wall. So he crashes, he's flying on the room but he crashing the wall. So th that's uh, Dave, David Holmes, uh, he uh, gets bumps into a cushioned uh, wall right here which, uh, which is Right beneath is a uh, black tarp. Underneath is basically like wooden plywood. So this is still on the uh, HBO Max. You, you can check it out. And there have been uh, people who have been who did the that doubles uh, who. Uh, who did not uh, manage to make it back alive after they did a stunt that was very uh, extreme. If you have watched uh, iCarly, the original one, there was a scene in uh, I Felt Penny Teeth where with Noah Monks, the character, uh, gave me his, uh, Hanging up from the ceiling, and then he is supposed to drop down the ceiling onto the ground. Face plant. But the stunt double who uh, did the role of. Uh, he had the fracture that uh, several bones in his body, and uh, he passed away. And, and also. In the movie, uh, XXX, uh, Sandra Cage, that movie where Vin Diesel, he, he does the role of, uh, Sandra Cage. That's the same act actor who does, uh, Dominic uh, Toretto from the Fast and Furious uh, franchise. There was that one scene where, uh, Sander carried is uh, does this uh, rule where he has to do this stunt going all all the way up high and do stick a landing, but unfortunately, uh, Vin Diesel he couldn't do that, so a stuntman had to do it for him and. Stuntman, uh, he uh, 
he did uh, the stunt, but the effects of that, uh, he crashed and he passed away. And while there are other uh, stuntmen who uh, managed uh, to uh, handle explosive scenes, uh, they uh, that to fall from high heights and or uh, well they have to uh, do like a do a fight scene and uh, they get hit by a weapon and and the damage that uh, it uh, it really hurts uh, and uh, main actor and actress uh, who does that is supposed to do that scene they can't handle that much pain so they have someone else to step in and look alike do it for them and those people they could take a hit and uh, take or two here and there and uh, and then the next shot the actor and actress uh, they, they continue the scene there and and then this, that meant that they go to the hospital to get treated or and they still get credit for it. And it's a nice move for uh, Daniel Radcliffe uh, and the other people uh, who actually uh, show support. And especially uh, Tom Felton because he is the number one Potterhead worldwide. Because the, the rest of the Harry Potter cast, movie cast, Daniel Radcliffe uh, doesn't want to talk about it. Emma doesn't want to talk about it. Rupert doesn't want to talk about it. Uh, but the only people who actually do talk about it, uh, who aren't uh, majorly known, is uh, James and Oliver Phelps. Who they have have uh, talked about the ad about the Harry Potter and even the mobile game. Tom Felton, of course, and uh, Ivana Lynch, who uh, who did Luna Lovegood, and it actually liked the character, and Bonnie Wright, who did. Uh, Ginny Weasley, but um, they're the only ones who actually are okay to talk about the Harry Potter franchise, and uh, even if they do something else. Go check out David Holmes. The boy who live, lived. On HBO Max.